Grade 4 math, number 60. Compare fractions on a number line. Now, in our last video, we talked about comparing fractions and looking at the denominator. And I told you to remember when comparing fractions, the bigger the denominator is, the smaller the parts are. Big denominator equals small part, more parts in smaller pieces. If we have two pies, and this denominator is a 4, and this denominator is an 8. The 8 is a larger number. See? There's more parts, but the parts are in smaller pieces. Would you rather have a fourth of a pie or an eighth of a pie? The bigger the denominator gets, the smaller the pieces become, but there's more of them. Okay? Because this pie was split into 8 pieces, each piece had to become smaller. This one is split into less pieces, each piece is larger, okay? So remember that when you're comparing fractions, all right? So let's compare some on a number line. We've got two number lines here. This one goes is broken up into eighths. This is zero, this is halfway, and this is the one, okay? It's eight eighths. It's split into eight parts, and when you get to the end, you've got all eight parts of the eight, okay? This one is split into tenths. When you get to the end, you've gotten to all ten parts of the ten that it's split into. Ten tenths is equal to one. Okay? So we're going to see which is bigger. Five eighths or four tenths? So let's find the five eighths. Okay? On the eighths one, five eighths is right here. Okay? Where's four tenths? On the tenths orange one, uh, red one. You get one, two, three, here it is. So which one's bigger? Which one is closer to the end? The five eighths is bigger. So it's greater than. See that? That's easy to tell on a number line, isn't it? It's a lot easier than doing math. Okay, how about three eighths or two tenths? Which one's bigger? Let's get rid of our marks here. Okay, we'll start fresh. Which is bigger? Three eighths or two tenths? Where's three eighths? It's right here. Where's two tenths? It's right here. So which one's bigger? Which one's closer to the end? The three eighths is greater than two tenths. See that? Number lines are easy. Okay, let's clear the board again. Okay, which one's bigger? Four eighths or seven tenths? Four eighths or seven tenths? Where's the four eighths? Well, four-eighths is right here. It's half, isn't it? Okay, where's the seven-tenths? It's right here. So which is bigger, four-eighths or seven-tenths? Which one is closer to the end? The seven-tenths is greater than. Four-eighths is less than seven-tenths. See? Big mouth eats big number. See that? Okay, now I've got a bunch of number lines. This one is showing things in halves the green top one. Then we got thirds, fourths, fifths. You can tell by it's saying five over five, six over six. This is sixths, sevenths, eighths, and we're going to jump to tenths, okay? All right, we're going to see which is more, all right? So which is bigger, two eighths, one eighth, or two fourths? Well, we already know that two eighths is bigger than one eighth, right? Because you got two of them, and you only got one here, so it's not this one, all right? So now which is bigger, two-eighths or two-fourths? All right, where's our fourths table? It's right here. Okay, where's our eighths table? It's right here. So which is bigger, two-fourths, which is right here, or two-eighths, which is right here? The two-fourths is bigger, isn't it? Because it's farther towards the end. So two-fourths is bigger. All right. Now which is bigger? Five-sixths, three-fourths, or seven-tenths? Okay. Five-sixths, three-fourths, or seven-tenths? Well, let's find each one on the number lines. Where's five-sixths? Where's the five-sixths on the sixth number line right here? Here we go. It's right there. Okay. Where's the three-fourths? Here it is. It's right here. Okay. And where's the seven-tenths? 
7 tenths is right here. Okay? So now I'll be able to stand back and you'll be able to find the green dots to see who the winner is. Do you see who this green dot, this green dot, and this green dot? This one's bigger, isn't it? It's closer to the end. So 5 6 is the bigger one, okay? He's the winner. All right, let's get rid of our green dot so we can start fresh. Okay? Let's start fresher. All right, which is bigger, half, two eighths, or four sixths? Well, let's find each one, okay? Here's half. We'll put our green dot, okay? Then we got two eighths. Here's our eighths. Put our green dot. And then we got four sixths. So we got to go to the sixth one and find the four sixths. I bet a lot of you already know the answer. All right, I'm going to step back and we're going to see which green dot won. We got half, we got two eighths, and we got four sixths. Look at that. Four sixths is winning. He's almost near the finish line, isn't he? So four sixths is bigger. All right, let's start with a clean slate again. We got one last one to do. So I, I'm sure you can really understand how to use a number line now to find out which one's bigger. We've got five sevenths, two thirds, and four fifths. Okay, let's find five sevenths. So here's the sevenths. Here's five sevenths. Okay, it's right there. Two thirds. Ooh, two thirds is right here. And the last number is four fifths. So here's the fifths. Here's four fifths. Okay, I'm going to stand back. We're going to see who won. Two-thirds, four-fifths, and five-sevenths. Can you see who won? The four-fifths. He's the closest to the end, isn't he? Just by a little bit. So four-fifths is bigger. So, very easy. That's how you can use a number line to compare fractions and to figure out which one is bigger and to put them in order. If we had more time, we could have found the next biggest one and the next biggest one, and we could have put them in order by size, couldn't we have? Yeah, so number lines can be very useful to tell if fractions are bigger or smaller than another fraction, or to even tell if they're equal. What if two had ended up on the same spot, like in the halfway mark? We would have known they were equivalent fractions. So yeah, number lines can be helpful. It's another method to compare fractions. I'll see you next video. We're going to keep going, talking about fractions. Bye.